Hi everybody, the channel Easy Lecture welcomes you. In this video, we are going to discuss how to design a typical circuit in monolithic IC. So here monolithic in the sense mono means single, lithic means stone. Okay. So the circuit will appear as in, in an IC, it, it appears as a, a thing fabricated in a, a single stone. So that is the meaning of it. So in previous video while giving introduction about a linear integrated circuit I mentioned that uh, hundreds of thousands of lakhs of discrete components can be fabricated in a in a single IC okay so here the discrete components can be fabricated and uh, the connection between the discrete components have to be established only then we can uh, make it to function as a circuit okay so in this video we are going to explain how to design a simple circuit in a monolithic IC so how the circuit will look like so that is what we are going to discuss before entering into the video don't forget to subscribe my channel easy lecture now let us go for further discussion right. so this is a circuit and we are going to design the circuit and the cross-sectional view of the circuit in an IC can be shown in this diagram first let me uh, briefly explain about this circuit so this circuit has uh, four discrete components capacitor diode transistor and resistor there is there are five leads okay lead one lead two lead three which is hidden here lead four lead five so like this there are five leads okay and lead one is taken from one terminal of capacitor okay another terminal of capacitor is connected to pn junction diode the anode of pn junction diode so that is p type semiconductor of pn junction diode so between that capacitor and p type semiconductor of pn junction diode another lead is taken lead 2 is taken then uh, in pn junction diode the n type semiconductor that is cathode it is connected to a transistor here we have to confirm whether it is an npn transistor or pnp transistor so here it is connected to the base of the transistor okay the n type semiconductor of pn junction diode is connected to the base of the transistor and the emitter of the transistor can be shown by this lead so how can we identify emitter base and collector so base is always in the middle and to differentiate between emitter and collector always the direction is marked in the emitter leg so from that we can conclude that this is emitter leg and this is collector leg again from the direction of arrow we can conclude whether it is an npn transistor or pnp transistor always the direction is marked from p type semiconductor to n type semiconductor so here the arrow is marked outward from inner to outer so obviously this is p type semiconductor and this is n type semiconductor so that means base is p type semiconductor emitter is n type semiconductor so from this we can conclude that the collector is also n type semiconductor so this is obviously an npn transistor okay so the collector of this npn transistor is connected to a resistor and from the other point of resistor a lead is taken lead 3 is taken okay then between the resistor and the collector terminal of transistor lead 4 is taken from the emitter of transistor lead 5 is taken so this is a simple thing regarding this um, circuit now we are going to fabricate this circuit in in a chip so we are taking the substrate again how many discrete components are here there are four discrete components capacitor diode transistor and resistor so we have to uh, design these four discrete components in an ic so how how will we design first okay first a substrate is taken substrate it gives mechanical strength and above the substrate we grow an epitaxial layer so it is this epitaxial layer in which we design the components so if p type substrate here i didn't mention that actually it is a p type substrate and above this p type substrate an epi n type epitaxial layer is grown okay then in this n type epitaxial layer for each discrete component a well is designed well okay so this is a p type well is designed so this is one well this is well number two this is well number three this is well number four for four discrete components we have four wells okay so each well in each well uh, we can uh, design different components different discrete components okay so this well performs the action of capacitor and i have made this well to function as diode and this well functions as 
transistor and this well functions as resistor so let us see how okay actually so nothing is uh, difficult here we have uh, arranged the p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor in different arrangements and we have made it to perform the operations of these different discrete components okay so first let us take this capacitor so capacitor lead one is taken from one terminal of capacitor so here p type semiconductor is there and this n type semiconductor is there so a capacitor is two different dielectric components separated by a small amount of insulator so that is capacitor so two different type of uh, uh, dielectric components means p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor so here i have taken p type semiconductor as one of the terminals of a capacitor from which lead one is taken okay and this the color which is shown in brown color so that establishes that gives the metallization so metallization it helps it enhances the um, connection with the particular uh, type of semiconductor to the external circuit so from this lead one is taken and from this lead one if any other component has to be connected that can be connected to this lead one externally not in uh, not inside the uh, chip okay right then another uh, terminal of capacitor that is provided by this n plus region okay so this n plus region that is another terminal of capacitor that n plus region is connected to p type of pn junction diode so this is pn junction diode p type of pn junction diode so that is shown here this n plus region of capacitor is connected to anode of pn junction diode so this is p type semiconductor that is so to which the capacitor is connected and there is a, a lead two which is taken from uh, at the point of contact between the terminal between one of the terminals of capacitor and p type of uh, pn junction diode so i have taken the lead from here okay then inside this p type well n plus heavily doped n type semiconductor is diffused into it and this will act as n type semiconductor of pn junction diode that means uh, uh, cathode of pn junction diode this acts as cathode of pn junction diode and this cathode of pn junction diode is connected to the base of transistor which is p type semiconductor so this cathode of pn junction diode is connected to this p type well p well so p well it is connected to p well so this p well the next well the next p well it acts as the base of the transistor base of this npn transistor so here the emitter is also n type semiconductor and the collector is also n type semiconductor so emitter is taken from the p type well some amount of uh, heavily doped n type semiconductor is do, uh, diffused into p type well and that will act as emitter so this region acts as emitter and from emitter what is taken lead 5 is taken so i have taken lead 5 through metallization from this emitter and one more uh, thing is there collector collector of um, NPN transistor so collector is also a heavily doped n type semiconductor so it is taken from the epitaxial layer so this is n plus epi yeah, sorry n type epitaxial layer in this n type epitaxial layer heavily doped n type semiconductor is diffused and that will act as collector of NPN transistor and this collector of NPN transistor is connected to resistor so resistor is nothing but p type well that acts as a simple resistor no other diffusion is required so here also uh, we know that resistor doesn't have um, any terminal like positive or negative so it can be used in both the directions so that is why here p type semiconductor to this p type well the collector is uh, connected and uh, after a small gap again in the same p type semiconductor metallization is uh, given to take lead 3 so here lead 3 is taken which is hid hidden here so that is taken from another uh, point of uh, resistor so that can be shown here so that is shown here and one more thing between uh, the capacitor uh, sorry between the resistor and uh, collector uh, con collector terminal of uh, transistor lead 4 is taken so this is collector terminal of uh, transistor and this is resistor and uh, between resistor and uh, collector terminal of transistor lead 4 has been taken okay so this is regarding this uh, circuit this is how we design a circuit in chip so this is cross sectional view and uh, this p plus semiconductor which is diffused 
between every uh, component so it has an additional advantage it not, it isolates each and every co components okay so here we have uh, uh, designed uh, four different types of discrete components capacitor diode transistor and resistor so an isolation so these discrete components they have to be isolated from each other no uh, connection should be established internally or unknowingly which may damage the design okay which may damage the uh, uh, circuit if we uh, apply it in uh, applied for further usage so there is a chance for uh, damages so these discrete components should be isolated and this p plus uh, p type heavily doped p type semiconductor provides that and uh, there is a thing that we, which can be noticed that here this is heavily doped p plus semiconductor and epitaxial layer is n type semiconductor and there is a chance for it to act as pn junction diode so what happens the entire ic is reverse biased so when it is reverse biased the pn junction diode under reverse bias uh, it does not contact so this provides the isolation of different discrete components inside the chip so that is happening here so a lot of things have to be noted here we are taking p-type substrate and the p-type substrate it is for providing mechanical strength above this p-type substrate we are going in a p-type n-type epitaxial layer so in this n-type epitaxial layer we are fabricating different components and the connection between different components is established through this metallization so this is the understanding that which we require about how a circuit is fabricated in an ic so this is provided in this video i hope you like this video so don't forget to comment like share and uh, subscribe my channel easy lecture meet you again in another video until then bye thank you